Okay, I want to show you something awesome. <coughs> this is a solar power satellite. It collects energy from the sun in space, where there's no night time or cloudy weather, and beams it down to antennas on Earth. It's safe, reliable, eco-friendly power. How about this? An asteroid mine. Using something like this, we can collect the rare metals we need for our modern technology in space without building big, dirty mines here on Earth. Now, you might look at these things and think, that's science fiction. We can't build that. And you know what? You're right. But why? Why can't we build these big, ambitious space projects? Well, the problem is cost. Specifically, moving stuff from Earth into space is an expensive process. And the reason for that is these things. A rocket costs about the same amount as a small passenger jet, around 100 million US dollars. Now, the jet might fly 60,000 times in its life, so you can spread that 100 million dollars over thousands and thousands of flights. How many times does a rocket fly in its life? Once. So every time we want to send something into space, we've got to uh, pay 100 million dollars for a rocket that we're not going to use again. Remember that the next time you complain about the cost of shipping on Amazon. So why can't we recycle rockets and use them like we use jets? Well, we'd like to, but there's some problems we need to solve. And one piece of that puzzle is making rocket engines which can last for a very long time. Now, historically, we've built rocket engines to be as powerful as possible. And we've gotten pretty good at it. A rocket engine not much bigger than me could lift two fully loaded buses off the ground at the same time. But all that power comes at a price. The inside of a rocket engine is basically a controlled explosion, and it can get really hot in there. Half as hot as the surface of the sun. And all that heat can do a lot of damage to the engine. It's one of the reasons why rocket engines don't last very long. But what if we could change that? I'm working on a method of reducing the temperature of this explosion by changing the ratio of propellant chemicals flowing into the engine. It might not be as powerful, but maybe if the engine operates at a lower temperature, it'll last longer. Then we can make space transportation cheap. And if we can do that, we can build those big ambitious space projects. If we get there, imagine what else we can achieve. The sky is very literally not the limit. Thank you.